All right, guys, in today's video, we are going to be installing a six rear lower engine mount on a 2022 Hyundai Elantra N. The installation process is going to be almost identical to a Veloster N, um, but I will go ahead and show you guys how it's done on a, an Elantra. All right, so we're going to start off by removing the 17 millimeter bolt that goes through the uh, bottom of this engine mount right here. Um, the reason why we're going to do this first and not this is that way um, we have something to at least hold on to this mount as we try to remove this bolt. If I remove this first, um, I'm going to have a hard time. I feel like just trying to get this removed. It's just much easier to do it that, that way. So once you go ahead and get this side of uh, the nut loose, you're going to want to go ahead and just back this end up. If you have an open end wrench, go ahead. I do not have any of my other tools here, so my dumbass is going to be using this. But whatever works, um, it's 17 on both ends. So, so the second step is going to be to remove the two 14 millimeter bolts that are going to be holding the back of the motor mount to the subframe. All right, so this is going to be the stock motor mount. And these are going to be the stock, the two 15 millimeter, I mean 14 millimeter bolts that hold it into the subframe. Um, six supplies you with new bolts for the for the back of their mount. So um, I'll show you how this goes inside right now. But pretty crazy. Um, it actually has some pretty good movement to it, but it's really not that. I mean, it actually feels pretty stiff to be honest with you compared to when I replaced my trans mount on my Genesis Coupe. So. Um, we're going to go ahead and swap in this bad boy right now and see how it goes. Okay, so when installing the six uh, motor mount, you want to make sure that these angled parts on the bracket for the rear are facing up. So we'll go ahead and put this in first. I'm going to hand tighten in these two 14 millimeter bolts to make sure that I don't cross thread anything. I'm gonna just give it a quick snug. Make sure everything's kind of tugged snug on. Okay. And then after that, you wanna go ahead and make sure that the snowflake emblem from six is gonna be facing down. And that way pretty much just goes in like that. This right here, the bolt that six supplies you with goes through the back over here. There's a washer on each side and then you go ahead and put the locking nut on. And then you're going to use the OEM 17 millimeter bolt right here. And Six wants us to go ahead and torque these down. Any through bolt, meaning bolt that's going through the engine mount, is going to be done to 75 pounds, and the two rears will be done at 50 pounds. So I'll go ahead and pause you guys and get back to it when we're going to torque it down. Let's go. Yeah. All right. So the first bolts that I'm going to go ahead and torque down are going to be the two uh, 15, 14 millimeter bolts on the back of the back of the engine mount that connect to the subframe so I'm gonna go ahead and just set this to 50 and I will go ahead and tighten them all right so just got back from our drive uh, initial impressions are that absolutely love it worth the money I'm happy that I got it from my wife. Um, I noticed that the transitions when you're shifting in from first, second, third, fourth, it's very smooth. Um, it almost feels like you're not even shifting. It's pretty crazy. Very, very nice feeling. Uh, I even gave it a little bit of beans out of first gear. And um, I noticed that the wheel hop was pretty much like, it was not just, there was still a little bit, but it was much more maintainable and you didn't feel like you were leaving everything behind in the front end. Like it's actually, uh, it actually made, I can't wait to actually run somebody now instead of just fucking like staying behind trying to get traction. Uh, 
I'm really excited uh, to see how my wife likes it driving back and forth from work and uh, yeah I will give you guys a better uh, review as time goes on you know this is just literally within the like 30 minutes of after of us installing it so uh, yeah thank you guys